What should you do with all your chili plants at the end of the season? My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump, and 2021 has been an interesting year to say the least. Had a few challenges. One of those challenges was not being able to pot up my plants early enough. And let me just quickly show you what that does to your plants. And hopefully it gives you incentive to pot up at the right time next year. So this is what I've been talking about all season. When you have your plants potted up too late, they don't root properly. So you can see there, that plant is pretty much exactly what it was like when it was in the one liter pot. It hasn't really rooted down there, which means that it's gonna maintain a small plant size and obviously that's not a good thing. Thanks to help from Andy and Horace, I was able to get both greenhouses cleared out in record time. Now that means I can get prepared for next season and get things started in the next couple of weeks, but what do I do with everything at the end of the current season? I'm gonna take you through my process and hopefully it gives you some ideas. Twenty twenty one has not been a typical year for me, and due to the challenges I've had, my plants never really reached their full potential. What that means is I will probably reuse this compost twice. In a typical year where things are working as they should, I would only reuse that soil once, and then I would discard it, either put it into raised beds or in my flower beds or something else. The reason that you can't just constantly reuse your compost is because the nutrients will be taken away. That's your number one thing. It's not just the big nutrients like nitrogen and potassium and phosphorus, but it's the micronutrients as well. They are really important for the health of your plant. Once those are all used up, it's quite difficult to put them back into the soil. The other reason is because the structure of the soil is going to diminish. You need that compost to be nice and fluffy and airy. When you've used it multiple times, you'll see that it breaks down and becomes more sand-like than nice organic compost. So those are the two reasons. Don't reuse your soil too many times. And also start off with really good compost, else there's no point either to reusing it. This year I will be enriching my soil as I always do with grass clippings and other compostable stuff. And I'll be mixing it all together. That compost will probably be ready in the next three or four months and I'll be able to use it in my grow for 2022. So if you want to make use of your plants and your compost, it's a bit of work, but it is worth doing it because it does save you quite a bit of money. And it's also, it's just good for the environment. Don't just throw away soil, that is still good. This is the last video for this year and uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me on my garden update videos. I'm really looking forward to next year. It's going to be pretty great and I have a lot of things planned and I'll reveal those to you very shortly. Until then, have a fantastic new year. All the best for 2022 and stay spicy.